Yes, good afternoon. My name is Eric Sands from the Sanders Firm PC. And today I want to talk about something I read in the paper the other day. This is this issue about privacy with upskirt pictures. We have all these smartphones that people use and that children use and they carry to school and they're supposed to be used for safety consideration. At least that's why the parents believe they get the phone. The problem is, like any other piece of technology, children and youth do things with it and even adults do things with it that were not anticipated by the makers of the product. And what you have now is students are doing these little things that are, that are not only disrespectful, it's, it's actually a crime in some states, and actually it's another form of sexual harassment. What you have boys doing in particular is female students that are wearing skirts, they're waiting for them to bend over and they'll take a, a cell phone and they'll place it on their skirt and videotaping them or snapping pictures of what, what they have under their skirt, whether they have undergar undergarments or no undergarments. So women have to be cognizant of that. And school administrators need to be cognizant as well and treat that with a heavy hand and a swift hand and not look at it as boorish behavior. In the one story I read, the school took it as, well, you know that it's teenage boys uh, being boys. And it was an all-male school. There's no such thing as, as boorish behavior. Boorish behavior should be dealt with swiftly is why you have the problem with women being objectified in the United States and abroad because we take the position that uh, women are objects. Women are people. They deserve the same amount of respect as everyone else. And that's a civil rights issue. And the bottom line is as administrators and as citizens and as people just in general, law-abiding people, we should insist upon when students act in inappropriate ways or even adults act in inappropriate ways by violating the woman's privacy, by placing a hand under her skirt, and using their cell phone to either snap pictures or videotape of uh, their bodies or about their person, they should be dealt with swiftly. And again, women, when you find that happen, you don't have to be a victim of suffering silence. Make sure and contact an attorney that explain to you your rights. Thank you.